Hello everyone. Today we're gonna uh, do some importing data to Google Earth Engine Cloud API. So Google Earth Engine Cloud API is a cloud-based uh, analytic tool uh, provided free for educational academic uh, um, use cases. Uh, and it's a powerful um, um, platform where you can run geospatial analysis on the cloud. Um, one of the things is that you, there is a lot of, you know, um, image, uh, satellite data, and also some uh, geospatial GIS layers, such as shape files, points, and whatnot on the Earth Engine API. But sometimes you might need to import your own shape file or GIS layer to the Earth Engine um, uh, Cloud um, API. That's what I'm going to show you today. At the end of this um, uh, lesson, we're going to um, import a global administrative boundary for all countries. And also, um, I'll show you how you can select and filter for a specific country, in this case, Egypt. Um, so we're going to do that. So let's get started. Um, so uh, we're going to use the, uh, we're going to download a shape file from the uh, World Bank data catalog. Um, um, I've already provided um, this link here. Um, this is the URL that we'll be using, uh, datacatalog.worldedbank.org. And um, there's a World Bank official boundaries data sets. Uh, we're gonna um, copy that here and paste it here. And then we're gonna download a shape file and then um, upload it to the Earth Engine API. Uh, and we're gonna need the World Countries Polygon here, a zip file. We're gonna click here to download that and it's downloading here. Um, once that download is complete, um, you go to your um, uh, downloads data set. I've already downloaded multiple ones, but in your case, you'll find um, this uh, World Bank Countries Admin, 0, 010 meter. And then you, you're gonna extract this, because um, the Earth, Earth Engine does not accept a, a zip file, so you're gonna um, uh, if you're using Windows, um, you know, right click and 7-zip, I'm using that. In your uh, case, you might need uh, to use um, various um, unzipping um, tools. So I'm going to extract this here as extract. Um, and then once you unzip that, you go to that specific folder here. Um, and then you're going to upload everything except these um, um, SPX um, um, suffix, Earth Engine doesn't like that um, uh, suffix, so everything else you can you can select to download. So to upload this data to Earth Engine, um, you're gonna go to Assets, so when you um, track that, the code editor, you have scripts where you can save um, your scripts and documentation, and there's also Asset, that's where you need to upload the data. So you just go to uh, New, and then your data is, this is for image, and this is for uh, tabular data, if it's a CSV or shape file, in our case it's a shape, um, a shape file. So I'm gonna select here, and um, select the, all the files except is this SBX file name, and then I'm gonna upload that, and um, so because it, it says it's already existing, that's right, I'm just uh, showing you a demo, otherwise I've already done this. So in your case, what you need to do is just click upload and it should upload that data, all right? Um, so uh, once you upload that, so you can, you have a name here. Uh, so you, you can, if you copy this name, you can access it on the code editor. So you don't have, you don't have to do anything. Um, so just close that. Um, so these are the steps that I've already outlined here. So I'll just um, call that um, data that I've already uploaded on Earth Engine. And then I'll just do a quotation here, a single quotation here. All right. And then I'll close the statement by using a semicolon here. All right. 
so this is gonna import this um, data that we have ex exported right so this is using uh, from assets um, so let's print that so this ROI it's a large data so I'll just use limit to 10 that means I'll only print the first 10 uh, points and then 10 semicolon let's uh, print that and to see what that data looks like um, so if you see features about 10 points uh, so it has everything right like all of the attributes are here so what we're not gonna need is so it has continent Africa and then there's name en so that means the English name for each country for example this is South Sudan uh, so that's uh, what we need for filtering for a specific country. Okay, um, actually, let's do a visualization at that. Let's uh, map dot add layer ROI, and then we don't need just uh, to provide uh, coloring or whatnot. So that's world countries. Close the so close that uh, statement and let's go ahead and execute that so it's gonna show us um, so it's gonna display that so all the countries uh, boundary uh, you can you know uh, check and check um, so yeah so we have uh, successfully imported um, or uploaded our shapefile to the earth engine assets um, one of the things we can do is just we can filter this data by country instead of the all countries I'll just select one country and then display that all right so let's create a variable Egypt here and I'll pass the ROI for all countries filter e -E filter dot equal name in in is name English I've shown you that right so we're gonna pass that and then select a specific country here just I'll write Egypt uh, and then that should be it it will select uh, uh, Egypt and then let's display that map add layer and Egypt um, I'm gonna define some visualization parameter here. Let's have a curly bracket and color red. This, um, this color has to be in quotation. Uh, let's just give it a name, a layer name. Okay, that should be it. And last thing to adjust the zoom level, map center object. Right, so that should be it. And let's go ahead and execute that. Okay, some typo here. Oh, that should be a point instead of, all right, let's go ahead and execute that. Excellent. So now we have our worded countries boundary, right? And then we have also subsetted um, Egypt. So not only we have seen importing, but also kind of manipulating the the shape files, the GIS layer that we have uploaded to our engine, kind of selecting, um, you know, uh, filtering or selecting specific um, attributes in, in that uh, feature collection or the, the shape file that we have uploaded. All right, that's it. Thanks.